You were sent away to boarding school aged eight. Must have been very difficult. For me, it wasn't a choice, and it was much more a culture of, like, you're left, you don't go home for, you know, however, however long. We'll see, you at, we'll see you in, you know, four weeks' time. Because that's just what people did who were of that class? I, I, I don't know. I wasn't involved in the decision. For me, it was like, you're going to boarding school, and I really struggled with it. I struggled being away from home. Do you remember that moment? Do you remember the day yeah, you Yeah, I do. I remember off? really well being dropped off, and I remember seeing my mum and dad bawling their eyes out driving away and I remember thinking I couldn't figure out what part of nature thinks this is a good idea you know I'm crying they're crying <laughs> you know I'm not seeing you for a long time it's so young isn't it? I have a seven-year-old I just can't imagine yeah sending him off yeah it was definitely a trickier time for me and I don't think I dealt with it particularly well I think you sort of develop survival sort of mechanisms to deal with the you know, upset and would deal with fear. And there were definitely sort of bullies at some of the schools I went to. And, you know, again, I don't want to over-egg that sort of I was, it wasn't terrible or terrible, but it had different moments. And, um, and I think looking back, I was too young to be able to deal with those sort of fear. And actually, ironically, I remember eventually at the end of SAS selection, you go through this resistance to interrogation phase. You know, you're there naked, curled up in a blanket, shivering. And at the end of it, when it's finally finished, they put you with a psychiatrist and you have a chat and he goes, it's all over and how was it and, and what are you feeling? And I said, it's weird because I haven't felt that sort of feeling of raw fear and vulnerability since I went to prep school, age, age whatever. And I thought he would, he would sort of laugh or whatever and he goes, oh, I can't tell you how many times I've heard that from people going through this process. When you say you, you, you said you don't think you dealt with it particularly well, what do you mean? Well, I think you internalise a lot of your way of dealing with fear. And that's why I became quite shy, especially in those years. I, I definitely went into myself a lot more and was hiding away. And you'd see people being bullied or, or you know, if ever the eyes came onto me, it's been like, oh, you know, hide, go, escape. And I think those are survival mechanisms that you shouldn't have to be learning aged eight or ten and and I think it's why it took me a long time to develop the confidence that not always hiding away. Did you ever talk to your parents about it? About like why did you do that or just to Yeah I think a little bit I mean my dad then died you know when I was pretty young after school and I never really got the chance to ask him that but you know the, the thing is he was the most lovely dad cozy kind, loving, and same with my mum, and I think it was, you know, I've got to understand that was hard for them as well. Mm. Um, and I think genuine, there's a whole generation of, of our, our age and, and older and before that would just thought that was, a, that was how you made a man.